In this video, we're going to look at the cell cycle and how cells grow and develop. So as a review, remember that all cells have two sets of chromosomes, and we call these pairs homologous pairs, meaning that they have the same genes on them. So what is the cell cycle? Well, the cell cycle is simply just a cycle of cell divisions. Um, the cell is going to divide, it goes back through the cycle, and then it will divide again. All cells do this. That's a very important thing. All cells will go through the cell cycle, regardless of what kind of cell they are. So what are the steps to the cell cycle? <clears throat> well, there's really two main parts. There is interphase, and then there's the actual cell division. And I like to think of these like practice and the game, where interphase is practice, where you're preparing, and cell division is a game where you're actually performing. So let's look at interphase. This is everything in between the cell divisions. So in between interphase literally means in between. And it's going to be broken down into three parts. So I kind of think of these like the three days of practice. We have G1, S phase, and G2. So here's a diagram that kind of shows the cell cycle, and we're going to go through this. So we're going to start here with a cell that has just gone through cell division and is re-entering interphase. So the first step is G1. <clears throat> And the way I think about this is after a game, you have to recover. And that's kind of what G1 does for you. It's called growth one. And this is where the cell grows after having, to, having divided. So when it divides, the two new cells are actually smaller than they should be. And so in G1, it grows back to the normal size. Next, we're going to go into S phase. And S phase is really, really important because this is where DNA replication happens. So what really is DNA replication? This is where we're actually going to make a copy of each chromosome. And we're going to call these two copies sister chromatids. So here's an example of a homologous pair. One was from mom, one was from dad they have the same genes. Once we go through DNA replication, those get doubled. So when you see that standard X shape that we see with chromosomes, those are actually replicated chromosomes. So really we're doubling the amount of DNA. And in each of these we have two sister chromatids that makes up a replicated chromosome. Now, why is this necessary? Well, <clears throat> if we're going to divide this cell in half, the two new cells that are formed both need the full number of chromosomes. You know, a normal human has 46, and so both of those new cells need 46. So how can 46 turn into two that have 46 unless you actually double the DNA first? So this is why DNA replication is necessary. You have to double it so that when you split the cells in half, they both have the correct amount. Next, we're going to go into G2. <clears throat> and this is kind of like the prep. So it's like the final walkthroughs you do before the game. Um, this is growth 2, and the cell is going to get a little bit bigger before dividing, and it's also going to replicate some of those organelles and other things that need to be done just before dividing. Now, at this point, interphase is over, and now we're on to the actual cell division aspect of the cell cycle. And the cell division part really has two parts. So I kind of think of them like the two halves of the game. The first one is nuclear division, and this is where the nucleus divides. Um, these are the processes of mitosis and meiosis that we'll talk about later. So in this process, we're actually separating out our chromosomes so that the new cells have the right amount. 
Once this is done, now the cell itself can divide. <clears throat> and this happens with cytokinesis. And really that just means the cell is cut in half. So the cell divides and we end up with two new cells. So if we look at this all together, here we have our cell entering so, uh, the cell cycle into interphase. In G1 it gets bigger. In S phase it, S phase, it replicates its DNA. Note how it now has those X's, so the sister chromatids. In G2 it's going to grow a little bit more and it's going to replicate the organelles so that both new cells have all the organelles. Then we're going to divide the nucleus, then the cell, and we're going to end up with two new cells.